Rothes Castle, a structure that bears witness to centuries of Scottish history, is nestled in the town of Rothes in Moray, Scotland. Though now largely in ruins, the castle's remnants and the history surrounding it offer a captivating insight into the medieval era and the turbulent past of the Scottish Highlands. This article explores the historical significance, architectural details, and cultural importance of Rothes Castle, making it an indispensable part of Scotland's heritage. Historical Background The origins of Rothes Castle trace back to the 13th century, though some historians suggest it might have been built even earlier. The castle was initially constructed as a fortification by the de Pollock family, a Norman family who settled in Scotland. However, its strategic location soon attracted the interest of Scottish nobility, leading it to become a highly coveted possession throughout the centuries. Rothes Castle stands on an elevated position, allowing it to overlook the valley of the River Spey. This vantage point made it a critical military site, as it allowed those within to spot advancing enemies from afar. During the wars of Scottish independence in the 13th and 14th centuries, Rothes Castle played a significant role. Its fortified walls provided shelter and security to soldiers and noble families alike, becoming a vital stronghold in the fight against English forces. The castle was also associated with several Scottish clans over the centuries, including the powerful Leslie family, who held the title of Earls of Rothes. The Leslies were influential figures in Scottish history and played prominent roles in political and military affairs. Their connection to the castle further elevated its importance and solidified its reputation as a symbol of Scottish resilience and heritage. Architectural Features Rothes Castle, like many medieval castles in Scotland, was designed to be both defensive and imposing. Built primarily from local stone, the castle had a simple yet formidable structure. Although much of the castle has crumbled, some parts of the original walls and foundations still stand, offering a glimpse into its original layout. The castle was built as a modern bailey structure, a common type of fortification in medieval Scotland, featuring a wooden or stone keep on a raised earthwork called a mot, accompanied by an enclosed courtyard, or bailey, which housed the castle's support buildings. One of the defining architectural elements of Rothes Castle was its central keep, which served as the heart of the fortress. The keep would have been surrounded by a curtain wall, with towers at each corner providing additional defensive positions. The walls, which once stood tall and were nearly impenetrable, provided protection against both sieges and inclement weather, reflecting the architectural style and military priorities of the time. Within the bailey, there would have been barracks for soldiers, storage rooms for weapons, and spaces for domestic activities necessary to sustain the inhabitants during times of conflict. Despite its current state, Archaeological studies indicate that Rothes Castle had several impressive features for its time. Researchers believe that the castle once included grand halls and chambers for the noble residents, as well as a chapel. Evidence suggests that Rothes Castle may have had defensive ditches and earthworks to fortify it further. The remnants of these features can still be seen today, allowing visitors and historians alike to piece together its original form and purpose. The decline of Rothes Castle. As Scotland entered more stable political times, the need for castles as defensive structures waned, and many, including Rothes Castle, gradually fell into disuse. The castle was abandoned in the 17th century, leading to its slow decline. It is thought that parts of the stonework were repurposed by local residents for other building projects, a common practice at the time, as resources were scarce and stones from abandoned structures were often reused. Natural forces, too, contributed to the decay of Rothes Castle. The exposed location and harsh weather conditions in the Scottish Highlands accelerated the erosion of the structure. By the 18th century, much of the castle had been reduced to ruins, and it ceased to serve as a focal point for the town of Rothes. However, the castle's historical legacy continued to endure in the hearts of locals, who viewed it as a symbol of their community's resilience and connection to Scotland's medieval past. Cultural Significance and Modern-Day Tourism Today, Rothes Castle remains an important landmark in Moray, attracting visitors who are eager to connect with Scotland.